And we are back, folks. As per usual, hope you're all doing well, enjoying some water, maybe some coffee, some big old news out there, reconfirmed first off by Scump. Already talked about a bit in the past, but uh, everyone's kind of speculating. How many years does he have left? I believe last year it was the number was four. Now this year, it's someone like Hex saying he has at least two more years left. It's actually Scump saying and also previously stating he needed to see new Call of Duty Vanguard first before he made his decision, which it seems that he has made his choice to at least give us one more year of competitive play. He says you're not going to get more out of that, more than that, out of him right now. I've already said I'm not retiring, bro. I am, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm going for at least one more year. That's all that you're getting out of me at the moment. I'm going for at least one more. All right, people, at least. After that, who knows what's going to happen? Life is a crazy game that we all play. Who knows what could happen after that, you know? You never know. At least five more years? What do I look like, man? Like I said, I'm not the Terminator from a different dimension. Like, I'm a, you know? I was just saying, though, like... It really is crazy, man. Like, I... It, you don't realize how stressful... The year is... Until you're done with the year. And then you're like, oh my god. Like, I have full freedom. I can wake up when I want. I can stream and play what I want. I can literally take any day off of the week that I want. Like, you just can't do that during the season. Like, you can't. It's like it's actually crazy, you know, like how the mind works after the season's over. Because when you're in it, you're in it, and you don't realize it. It's just grind, 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 practice, 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 you know, match, match, match. But then after the season's over and like everything slows down a little bit, it's kind of crazy. And I think we can all probably agree, especially with the retiring of Formal, and you look at your, your faces, your huge faces of Call of Duty maybe aging out in the next few years, as long as we can hang on to Scum, uh, as long as possible, is probably for the better of not just Optic and what could be future Envy, whatever merger might be going down, but Call of Duty League as a whole, especially when we talk about someone else who might retire in the near future, but hopefully has a handful of years left as well. Clayster, one of the oldest in the league and most success successful of all time, sharing on Twitter a little bit of a fortune cookie that he received, which was simply to retire. A, a quick little note here as he responds, F that cookie. It seems that he is not set to retire anytime soon. So upcoming season, when it comes time for some of your older players out there, you look at Crim6, you look at Clayster, and it looks like we're going to keep Scump around for a little longer as well. Three gigantic faces that the league, I think at this point, certainly does need are not set to retire, so it seems. Very lastly, it was actually a tweet uh, that went out by JoJo, it was later deleted, but CDL Intel grabbed it as well. That being player tracker is now live on Call of Duty League's website, so you guys can all see, unrestricted or restricted, what teams have actually extended some of their players. It's a bit misleading because some of these players that have been extended are still free agents, restricted or unrestricted for their teams, meaning that they're off the starting lineups. They're not meant to be there probably next year, but if a team does come to buy them out, Yes, they currently have extended with their current teams, but they might not be staying with those current teams. If any of that just made sense. Because, of course, all of FaZe extended, they will be staying. Then you look at Empire, though, uh, which supposedly has extended everybody. Remember, Vivid, though, and Krim are both restricted free agents waiting to be bought. So very clearly, they've extended, but they will likely not be staying. So that's why the list is, is a bit misleading, but it does give you an overall fact that if you were not a top half team, the entire teams have just simply been wiped, which happened last year a little bit. This year... Yet again, caught off season is just, it's its nuts how teams are just like, yeah, no, everybody, bye. As Mutineers have apparently extended, LA Thieves got rid of John, TJ, Venom, and Slasher so far, but apparently keeping Hook, as of course you guys can imagine, with a, a gigantic buyout attached to his name, they probably want to recoup something for him if bought, or if they are going to try and actually play him on top of that. Same goes for a lot of teams out there, Ultra included. Methods is also an unrestricted free agent, but showcased here seems to be extended, so that's why it can be a bit misleading. Leading, and other teams as well on the list but again if you were a bottom half team entire roster is just being wiped off the board for a rebuild to be set for a handful of teams out there what do you guys think about it as per usual drink some water drink some coffee i'll catch you back here next time take care